mimi ni mkenya um nilikuwa nafanya kazi Saudi Arabia and uh, mazejo kama si Mungu saizi ningekuwa ningekuwa marehemu Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eunice Opuya. In case you're new here kindly consider subscribing. So we have been hearing cases of many girls who are working in um, Gulf countries being mistreated and only a few girls have been rescued from the hands of their bosses who mistreat them. So one of the lucky girls is Shangazi Wataifa and uh, she was rescued after she recorded a video saying that her life was in danger and in case she won't make it from Saudi Arabia and then let anybody who is around uh, her child take care of him and after she posted that video it went viral and so many people came because they wanted to know where she is and uh, how they can help Ha. So one of the person when you did tokeza was Richie. He had a live on TikTok and she addressed this issue. Then after there is when what we did tokeza and so kuna wale ambao walienda walienda kwa ile nyumba ambayo shangazi wa taifa alikuwa anafanya kazi and they rescued her from that house. The rescue mission was not easy because it took them like three days if I'm not wrong. Na ilikuwa ni kuvutana but finally she succeeded to come out of that house alafu akapelekwa kwa ofisi and so akashughulikiwa until the time that she traveled back home so this is the video and alitengeneza na aka post when you are doing as as a minute me to live in it so kama kuna mtu hapo kwa kwetu munisaidie tu kulipia mtu wangu please so after that video went viral she was rescued for from that house and then later when she was in Kenya that is when she recorded this video We really thank God for keeping her alive and uh, making her ways easy. Mambo naitwa Shangazi. Mimi ni Mkenya. Um nilikuwa nafanya kazi Saudi Arabia and uh, mazejo kama si Mungu saizi ningekuwa ningekuwa marehemu acha niseme hivyo. So uh, nataka kushukuru everybody mwenye alinisaidia wenye walishia video zangu wenye walienda kwa ofisi yangu Kenya wenye walipiga masimu wenye walikuwa kiniombea wenye wali any, anybody mwenye ni support in any way hata maadui zangu ma haters wenye wenye hata walichukua video zangu ku post negativity ndo wapate maybe followers ama yani wenye wali take to advantage of my situation nataka ku thank everybody because you know shangazi mimi ni shangazi wa taifa so mazejo ilikuwa ni hard times nimepitia mob so nitakuwa nitawaambia venye kulienda because everybody is asking like what happened nini ilifanyika the moments after venye ile live tulikuwa ya kwa rich ili end hivyo yeah vitu mob ili happen mazeso hata sasa hizi sina nguvu sana ya kuambia kila kitu because it was so emotional Yaani mimi sikuwa najua kama nitatoka kwa ile nyumba nikiwa hai but juu ya god juu ya marafiki zangu yeah nilitoka nikiwa hai so there are a lot of things that you are learning from her that i'm getting from her, her story and one of the things is that unity is power and the other thing is is that it's good for you to communicate Uh, a lot of ladies are suffering in silence and supposed this lady would have been silent then we don't know by this time if she would have been still alive so a lot of girls are suffering in silence and i think many of them don't want to say what they are going through with the fear that they don't know how their family is going to take them that kuna madam ambao walitoka wakitoka Kenya ama wakitoka in their countries hawakuambia familia yao ya kwamba wanaenda Saudi Arabia 
wengi wao walijificha walikuwa nadanganya familia wao kwamba wanaenda kufanya kazi Dubai so that they can be accepted to travel and um, they end up in Saudi Arabia na wakatomeanga so what i can say is whether ukitoka nyumbani ulikuwa umesema ya kwamba you're going to Saudi Arabia ama ulitoka kwa kujificha ama haukusema ya kwamba unaenda Saudi Arabia uliwadanganya kwamba unaenda in another country iwapo utafika na when upokelewe na mdozi ambaye ni mbaya na akupitishie mateso don't keep quiet just because you're fearing how they, how your family will take will take it speak out whether they are going to take it in a negative or a positive way that is none of your business because the best thing here is that uokolewe na utoke hapo mahali because what is the need of wewe kwenda mahali na maisha yako inyamazishwe just for the fear of what your people are going to say at home na if ungekuja na useme ungeokolewa licha kwa ungerudi nyumbani na labda wakuchukulia kwa njia nyingine ama ugombanisha why is it that you didn't tell, tell us but as long as wamekupokea ukiwa mzima that one is that is the best so i would urge girls any lady who is going through a mistreatment of any kind na anakosa kujua ya kwamba itakuwaje just speak out either record yourself uiweke kwa social media ama you can, you can record yourself upatie a friend who you, your friend mwenye pia na either ata post kwa groups ama ata post kwa social media whoever will come across your video watakuja kukuulizia uko wapi and kama uko mahali ambapo ni pabaya kabisa they will come and rescue you from that from that house so girls please acheni kunyamaza let us speak out and uh, i know that wengi wenu mtakuja kusaidiwa i'm not saying that wadozi wa Saudi Arabia ni wabaya si wote ni wabaya manake Saudi Arabia kuna wadozi wengi sana wengi zaidi ambao ni wazuri and they have stayed with their girls for the longest time these ladies wanamaliza contract wanamaza contract they go for, for vacation and come back wanaendelea na kazi au ni wasichana ambao wamejiendeleza sana wamesaidia familia we have got very good bosses lakini wale ambao ni wabaya ni wachache tu na wale wachache tu ndio wana, wanafanya hata Saudi inaonekana kwamba ni mahali pabaya but for those wenye ambao ambao wamepata wame, wamepata wadozi wazuri we thank god for that but for those who are going through any kind of mistreatment please don't keep quiet speak out speak out you don't know who will come for your help so thank you so much for watching just as she has said ya kwamba wale watu ambao walikuja kumsaidia they are not even family wengine hata si friend yani watu walijitokeza tu nowhere just because you are a human being and you're supposed to be rescued from the place where you are they will come for your help so thank you so much for watching meet you again in the next video bye bye